I use a lot of plugins on my blog and my blog is powered by WordPress so it's really really easy to download find find download and install plugins from other people which is one reason why I really like WordPress and that's from wordpress.org not wordpress.com now a plugin adds extra functionality to a blog and uh, you can get a plugin to do almost anything um, one ex example is a Twitter plugin to show your tweets on your blog another example would be I've been setting up today a live stream plugin to aggregate and show everything that I do online which is an, a nice plugin um, another one would be a plugin to show stuff from an RSS feed in HTML on my blog but anyway I'm going to talk about another plugin that I use today which isn't necessarily doesn't need to be used as a WordPress plugin but it it has that option now it's called link within you probably guessed since it's right above my head there and you can find this at linkwithin.com now what this does is simply shows related posts now I'm sure many of you will be familiar with what I mean um, by that it basically if you have take one single blog post on your blog it will show some related blog post blog post related to the one you're currently looking at this is quite awkward to explain but I'll do my best hopefully you'll understand what I mean but this one has an, a nice added feature it shows photo thumbnails which is what really impressed me I, I wasn't expecting too much from this plugin because it was so simple what you do is you go to linkwithin.com and you enter your email address your blog URL or blog link and platform now I'll get to the platform in just a moment then you click get widget and for WordPress the, if you choose that as your platform which is what I did it gives you the plugin to download and then upload to your website and install and and that's it I do wish for the WordPress plugin it would ask for your details in the admin area or once you'd installed the plugin of WordPress rather than asking for them before even being able to download the plugin it would be nice in case you make a mistake or change either your email address or blog link but you probably wouldn't well anyway the it after you've done that you install it then there's nothing else to do it, you just leave it or another option is how many stories you can show it's, you have a choice of three four or five and you might think well that's not many what if I want to show seven related posts or related blog posts well you wouldn't because of the photo thumbnails feature under the blog post it will show by default three related posts and it puts a thumbnail to go with each one now if your blog posts are just text then it obviously won't get a thumbnail because there's no picture associated with it but what really impressed me was it actually managed to take extract a thumbnail from a YouTube video that was in the blog post all of my blog posts have a YouTube video in or just about all of them and it can take thumbnails from the YouTube videos and display it along with the title of the blog post as related stories now as I mentioned earlier the platform you have the choice between blogger WordPress a self-hosted one um, type pad and other so it's it's really easy to install on WordPress and probably also type pad and blogger but the other one it actually gives you some HTML code to put in your blogs template file it tells you to put it either above or below the body tag I'm not quite sure I, I didn't really take much notice of it so it I, I may be wrong but it seems to claim that it'll work with any blog I'm not sure how it would do that but since it, you can select other then it just gives you some code to put in it, it must work but I don't understand how so if, if you've managed to get this working with a blog not using blog or WordPress or typepad please let me know how it goes and how it actually works because I'm quite fascinated by that but anyway with WordPress at least it's really easy to use and it works really well it, 
displays related stories perfectly and the added thumbnail feature makes this for me stand out above the other related um, posts plugins available for WordPress because there are loads if you use WordPress you you probably know this if you know of any other great plugins I'd love it if you would tell me and if I don't use them I might be able to just pass on the link or the information to the rest of the community because someone else out there might want to know about that particular plugin that you know about my email address is actually not now info at jackie.com um, there'll be more news on this change in a future video but basically I've changed my domain to jakewright.net so my email address is jake at jakewright.net and my blog is I can't say that anymore my blog is blog.jakewright.net but my website is jakewright.net now I'm right in the middle of this transition so I apologize if things were a bit messy right now and there's, there'll be broken links and wrong URLs everywhere I know I'll, I'll sort them out but like I said I'll explain this change and this transition to a new domain in a future video thanks for watching